Hi, it's Mr. C here, and today we're going to learn about flowers. In fact, I want you to go outside and grab a flower from the garden or somewhere out on a nature walk, uh, and then you can follow along with this video on YouTube. So first of all, grab one of my flowers. This is a special flower, a little different from what you'd find in the yard. This one here, one of my animatronics. Okay, what I really want you to grab is a flower, a real flower from outside. Uh, bigger ones tend to work a bit better for what we're doing. This one here I've got is, of course, a yellow daffodil from my own garden. And we're going to be learning about the parts of a flower. I know you have a worksheet in your package called Parts of a Plant, and it does look at a flower. But I'm also going to show how you can get onto our classroom website, and there's a few other pages you could do as well if you wanted to, or at least to talk about them. So I'm going to uh, go onto a share here in which I'm gonna connect us to uh, a handheld microscope that I have connected to my computer. So bear with me for a moment, but we're gonna look at the different parts of the flowers. We've got things like the stem, we've got some little dried up leaves here, which are known as the sepal. And then we've got a nice big round part here, which is kind of like the female part of the plant, what we call the ovaries, or in this case, it's known as a pistil. We've got, of course, the petals. And then inside the flower, which we'll take a look at with our microscope, we're gonna see the stamen, which are kind of like the boy part of the flower, flower and then a, a taller part in the middle known as the stigma, which is kind of the, the girl part of the flower. And on those are the pollen that we talk about. So, Hang on a second, let me see if I can share our screen here. I'll get on to the magnifying glass. All right, let me pick up my magnifier. There we go. Oop, sorry about the movement. So let's see what we've got here. So we have, going up, here we go. We've got the petals. And if you look really carefully, these petals kind of look a little bit sparkly. And that's to help attract the bees and the flies more to the bright color and the sparkle. Let's see if I can get just underneath here. There we've got, hard to see it very clearly, but here we've got the pistil part and the sepals. And that's where the new seeds to the flower are made. So after the bright colorful part of the petals falls off, we're gonna be left with a little pouch underneath the flower, a little bulbous part, which uh, is called the pistil, and that's where the seeds would be. Let's take a look inside. There's a really good shot of the pollen. The taller middle part is what we call the stigma, kind of think of it as the girl part, and the parts that are around that stigma that also have pollen on it, they're a little bit shorter, those are known as the stamen. So of course our bee or fly is going to come on inside this flower and they're going to touch all of that pollen that's in there and head off to a different flower of the same type and end up passing that pollen on it's going to go down through the top taller part which we call the stigma and it's going to go actually down here to this part of the flower underneath which is where the seeds will grow that's one of the pistol there we go there's a good shot of the pistol right there so that's where the seeds will form after the petals have dropped off. Okay, so see if you can find a flower in your own garden or out on a nature walk. Nice big one like a daffodil like this works quite well. And you can really take a look at the inside and, uh, and see if you can name some of the parts. So I'm going to switch off the mic, off the uh, camera here for a moment. And let's connect us back with actually our web page so hang on a moment as we get there all right there we go there's our classroom web page and if we go into our website 
takes a few moments for it to load up. And if we go down the home page, this part here that says lesson examples, we'll give a click on there. And when we slide down this one, language arts, math, here we go, theme units for science. And at the bottom, there's a box for plants. We'll click on that one. And then over here, with the dancing flower, it says parts of a flower. And there's actually some different worksheets in there that are a bit different from the ones that I've shown you. So here's some. It's called parts of the flower. And here's some of the parts we were just showing. So the taller middle part it had the pollen all over it, called the stigma. The smaller little parts that are around it, called the stamen. Those dried up little uh, petals underneath the pistil part. So that's below the, the bright yellow petals that were on my flower. That's where the seeds are. That's a, a sort of a green bulbous part there. Anyways, there's some questions on this worksheet which you could just do talking about it with mom or dad, or if you have a printer at home, you could print this one off. I don't think I put this one into your theme unit duotang folder. So this is something additional. And there's a couple other ones in here as well. Again, that shows the inside parts of the flower that we just looked at. And I think there's even one cut and paste one here as well for an apple. Uh, flower and an apple. So if you give those a try or you could just find a flower and talk about it, take a good look at it. Enjoy doing that. All right, have fun with it. We'll see you later.